Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I want to give you just a little low spoiler tour of Captive, which is one of the entries in the graphic novel adventure series that's currently on Kickstarter and that's going to be published, in the United States at least, by Van Ryder Games. These are translations from books that were in French and published by Macaca Editions, um, but now we will get them in lovely grand style in the States and in English. Uh, this is just a paperback copy. This is a review copy. Um, the real ones are going to be hardback and far more lovely. So Captive is basically a combination between a game and a comic book. When you first open it up, you're going to get the rules and the character sheet. And I don't feel bad about showing you all this. This doesn't really spoil any of the story for you. Um, what you are going to get is the choice to assign different skill points to three different attributes. So strength, dexterity, and will are all going to play different roles in the game. And there are going to be moments where if you don't meet a certain threshold in one of those skills, you're not going to be able to get to something that you want within the game. So as you play and replay it, you may choose to tweak how you assign these numbers, depending on what you have and haven't already seen. You also have a starting health total and a time tracker that is going to enable you to track the passage of time. So sometimes when you go to certain places within the game, um, you will get a different outcome depending on how much time has passed at the point when you enter that room or that area. You also have an inventory. You can only have three items at a time, and this does lead to some difficult choices during gameplay. And there's a notes section. So when I was playing, obviously I didn't write on this. I just took a notebook paper sheet and just wrote my stats, my health, made quick time boxes, and kept my inventory and notes underneath that on the page. So if you're the type like me who doesn't like to necessarily deface books, especially if I'm planning to play them again and again, it's really not hard to do the bookkeeping just in a notebook. So just use some cheap throwaway paper, it'll be fine. So I'm not gonna show you too much more at the risk of spoilers, but I don't mind showing you the first page because you already know if you've read the Kickstarter page that in Captive, you're rescuing your daughter. So at this point we get to a comic book sequence where basically your daughter is leaving swim practice and some creeps put her in a van and drive away. So when we turn the page, it's gonna be us on the way to rescue her and we're gonna get to actually play through the game, make all of the cool choices and see how it goes. And to show how you navigate in this game, I'm actually just going to show you this panel because it doesn't really contain spoilers. It's just some doors with numbers on them. Um, if you can deduce the plot line from that, I'm impressed. Call me. So when you are exploring, you'll have numbers to choose from. And each of these is the number of another panel in the book. So if I want to go up and explore this room, I'm going to turn to panel 68. If I want to go down here, I'm going to turn to panel 58. And if I want to go here, I will turn to panel 57. And when you are looking for numbers, be careful because it's not always just doors that they appear on. Sometimes there are small hidden objects or areas of the room that have numbers that are kind of subtly drawn on them. And when you discover these and turn to those panels, you can find secrets. You can get access to the annexes in the back that give you extra story information, flavor text and clues to finding your daughter. Um, and sometimes you can even pick up the occasional secret area or item. So don't just rush through any door. Take a moment to look at each panel and see what you find because there's lots of exciting stuff if you are being patient with the game. So we'll just turn to the back for now with the slogan, only you can save her. Um, I don't want to show you any more of the book because I don't want to spoil anything for you. I can tell you that I played through it several times and that I had a good time each time. Uh, there's the occasional moment where I got a little bit stuck and it was frustrating, but patience, will see you through and you will have a breakthrough and end up, you know, getting to some sort of end or finding some sort of solution to the problems you're having. Um, I really enjoyed this game a lot. I went ahead and bagged the whole set. I can't wait to try out the others. Uh, and if this seems like your sort of thing, I'm glad I could help. Happy gaming.